I'm Sir Tap Taps, and just a quick little tutorial video for the two new events going on. Uh, the first one, Get to Work, is pretty basic stuff. If you played very early on in the English release, um, there was an identical event for Sakura, and basically you just need to complete regular levels, um, you know, this number of times to get this skin. Um, you should definitely have enough stamina, assuming you use it, you use all your daily stamina from both the daily missions and just regular generation. Um, you should easily be able to get both the uh, busboy costume for Pancake there, you should be able to get your appearance vouchers and your soul embers and then have a little bit left over. Um, if you're not sure you're gonna make it, you might just want to save up until the last day and then spend it all then. No real, you know, urgent need not to do that. But uh, just pretty basic. The a man's love event is a bit more complicated with all these exchange arena things we can do. Um, it is a bit different from the springtime event. Notably, crystals are no longer more efficient to buy. Um, in my live stream when I checked out the event at first, I assumed this was the case, so I kind of pointed that out, but it turns out that no. If you buy stamina with crystals, it is kind of a net loss of crystals to then go and buy these. Uh, they were cheaper last time, I believe. Um, stamina, I don't consider that. I don't honestly think any of these are that worth it except for the soul embers, most importantly the skin of course, and then the soul embers and there's really cheaper ways to get reincarnators and seasoning. Um, and an interesting thing is that the reason seals and emotion seals, or art seals, these continue these carry over to the next event, which I did not know was the case last time. So if you just kind of stockpile on those, it's not really too bad of a deal. But uh, your, your main goal is probably going to be to get the Vintage Festival skin. So, in order to best get that, what you're going to want to do is there's three visual novel segments in the story of this thing. And you choose answers. There's, um, you know, there's answer one up here, answer two in the middle, answer three at the bottom. Um, you have to answer all correctly for the same person in order for it to count. If you answer two of Miso's favorites and one of Tempura's favorites, you're going to have to reset one of the answers and change it around. So, the correct answer for Miso Soup, um, for Miso Soup's route to open his chest here, is two, two, and then one. So middle answer, middle answer, first answer. For the Tempura route, the answers are one, three and three. So the first, last, and then last. So they're simpler than last time. Smaller little event. Um, an interesting thing about the chests is that to open them, you do get a cute little story thing if you open the chest, right? But you have to spend, I think it's 240 crystals to reset, and it's not really worth resetting. Opening the first chest is worthwhile. Uh, the chests are cheaper to open this time. And so opening one chest is ideal. Opening both chests, uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, the person, um, thanks a lot to who pointed out in the chat, but it's, uh, I wasn't quite sure exactly how much worse it is to do so, but uh, I think it's not exactly strictly worse, but if all you want is the skin and you don't care as much about the bonus food and 200 soul embers, which is nice, but not incredible amount, um, I think it's better to not spend the crystals and save them. Um, but if you want to see the stories, um, there, you know, you have to do that to see both of them. I will make a video. I'm gonna bite the bullet and burn some of my crystals to, to open both. And I'll try to chop together a little video showing the whole story uh, for everybody. I meant to do that for the Labakongi event and the, uh, the springtime event. I just haven't done those yet. Uh, let me know if that's, like, helpful or if people want to have that. It'll be nice to know if that's, you know, something people want to watch or not. Um, but that, that's pretty much all to it. It's a lot simpler than the springtime event. I don't know why we didn't have this one first. Just because it's simpler to, to figure out. The, I think a lot of people got confused and intimidated by the, the first one. But yeah, basically, use those correct answers. I, and again, there's I have a written guide which is updated before the videos because it's just easier to do and easier to edit and stuff. So that's linked in the description, so check that out if you need more info. And... Um, Otherwise, to keep it simple, only open one chest, make sure you answer the right things. Um, it's gonna cost about 800 crystals to get that skin. So if you only want the skin I and mean, you don't wanna spend crystals, um, you might just pile on some, you might just collect with your stamina all of the different seals and then they'll carry over to the next time. 
over to the next event that's like this. Um, or you could buy gems if you're just insanely short on gems and you don't care about the skin. Um, buying gems with the stamina, I guess, is an okay way to do it, though. I don't even know, because, like, then, maybe it would be better to just have those seals saved up for the next event, so... I don't know. Personally, I'm going to be ignoring the gems this time. I think they overpriced it. And I think that stamina is very overpriced. Usually, event stamina, you get, like, just three bursts, but it's very cheap. And 24 heart seals, that is ridiculous. That's, that's honestly blurg. Yeah, the outfit is really neat, and I really, I really like the story in the event. I, I did a live stream where I read through that, and um, it's pretty cool. So check out the live stream if you want. That'll be...